I, I think it's like a couple playthroughs in the base game, and or not a couple, maybe like a few. Um, exactly three. You cannot. You can. The fun thing. The, the, I mean, there's a. The one thing that bothers me about games is when the mechanical the mechanical depth of the game is really trying to pull you in a different direction from uh, from the way the theme points you to do things. So it's basically just a, it's basically just a, like you know uh, it, it's like a you ever seen uh, it's basically a time loop game. You basically just go back through uh, scenarios. Yeah. And you just you just okay what didn't work last time what obviously sucked and then you just play it that way. Yeah, and, and then you just get, like, you get through quicker, faster, 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 and then ultimately... You get you to get, the end. Yeah, you get to the end, like... Yeah. Yeah. I'll say the themes, uh, like, the theme and the art is great. Uh, the puzzle solving is on on a different level when it comes to... Uh, if you've never if you've never been into board... Or, uh, into... Um, uh, like adventure game logic, it's gonna throw you for a loop. You're gonna you're gonna gloss over things. The problem is the game really requires team communication because each person, while they have a telepathic link when they're in, in back in time, so you can talk to each other about the stuff you see. You can't read it out loud. And you can't show people the pictures. So you're literally dealing with okay. If your teammate didn't internalize something that may have been key, you can't figure out the answer to the end of the game. Um, and that's something that'll. Uh, and that that'll like get you some really uh, some really bad feelings. Like there's some butt mad stuff in that game. Like something fierce. Like the problem is if you have great luck or you have just good enough luck to where you're not frustrated and you and you internalize the right things, the game is fucking fantastic. And the first round is generally always fantastic. The molt after the second playthrough, one you're drudging through some crappy buddy play. Secondly, if you get really bad luck on rolls and stuff, you you can just get uh, like crappy, uh, you can just get really crappy luck and not be able to finish it. And then the third run through, you can't actually fail. You just kind of just roll through and just keep playing through and ignore the time counter. Uh huh. But then it scores you at the end. It, it like it's a game that punishes you for exploring when it doesn't seem necessary to explore, even uh. though nothing. Which I mean, like there's there's some mechanical problems with the game that actively hurt the theme of the game. Like it's it's not an exploration game. It's literally a a, a choose the best uh, answer game. So, if you think it's not worth the money, if you if you're on the fence and whether it's not worth the money, I would definitely say don't grab it. It's definitely a board game cafe, uh, five hours worth of game time, and then you put it away, and that's thirty bucks saved. Theme's excellent though. Art's great. The business model is like Ubisoft video game level. Um, like 30, 30 bucks for five five hours if you're playing well, and then another twenty dollars for another thirty hours or five hours rather. I uh, yeah, that's actually the one reason why I kind of don't want to get it. Uh, like you said, I, I I am kind of on the fence with it, and that's pretty much that's pretty much what I thought. Um, yeah, yeah. If you can, like, I think part of my problem was that I was playing with my dad and my brother, and they're not board gamers, so and they're definitely not adventure game people. So unless you think you can get a group of people that are really into stuff, ooh, I'm gonna watch you play Leo. That's interesting. Um, um, do me a favor, real quick. Uh, change, hit, go up and hit change color and change to the spectator. Otherwise, it's going to screw up the turns thing. How do I do that? Uh, color, color. Go up and hit, yeah, menu, uh, menu, change color. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Where yeah, spectator no is gray. Spectator. Got it. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so another Mayoni. All right, I'll I mean, stop talking, I'll talking, talking y'all's ears off, and uh, uh, just sit here and listen. No, or watch a, or no watch that's it. A, uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you told me about time stories. I, um, like I said, I was on the fence, so it's a good thing that I didn't buy it. 
Sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm def. I'm. Uh, we like my dad. Uh, like the endings are what's really bad. Like the endings are uninspired and they they feel cheap. All the endings feel really cheap in both the first two, uh, the first game and the expansion. So it's really just like, oh man, that first play, that first playthrough is just great. And then uh, your second and third playthrough is like, one, it's drudge work going back through what you've already seen. Because you know, in times in time loop stories, they generally uh, they generally uh, like montage the shit you've already seen. That's the opposite here. You're you're looking at a uh, you're looking at the um, oh the exact same thing over and over yeah multiple times and you're like all right but yeah the endings are bad and the theme and the stories are pretty I would say weak I would say the stories are, the, are weaker than the theme the themes are cool but the Marcy case is literally just a uh, a rip off of uh, the first uh, Resident Evil so eh. Eh, yeah. Like I've heard, the third, the second expansion, uh, Prophecy of the Dragon, is fantastic. But other than that, it's a. Go ahead. I'm talking too much. Feel free. I'm gonna sit back. It's all okay. We can usually play without. I mean. Yeah, you you shouldn't have to though. I'm 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 excited to find new people to talk to. I apologize. Yeah, dude. No, we're happy to hear it. Who makes uh, time stories? Um, new a new company uh, in France uh, called Space Cowboys. Uh, they're French, and their menu is a god awful. Or not god, menu. Uh, their rule book is god awful. Like you're gonna be FAQing the entire game. I would I would say. Um. And it actually impacts one of the core puzzles in the in the first uh, game, so like it's hard to not it's hard to talk about it without spoiling. So I'm not going to. I'm just uh, uh, I'm just gonna say that you like there's gonna be a puzzle that you're gonna be like, what does this mean? And you're gonna be like, oh, that's because it, it they translated it poorly. But um, but the problem with that game is the 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 business model. They are apparently gonna ship the game with three stories. And there's actually room in the uh, in the original insert for the box for two, but it only ships with one for thirty dollars, and you gotta pay twenty five, thirty for the uh, or if you're pay if you're getting it for good uh, if you're getting it for good uh, prices, it's like thirty two for the game, and then like eighteen, really good prices eighteen or so for the um, expansions. But so the first expansion did not look good to me at all, or did not play well for me at all. It was. Uh, the final was crap, and it was so combat heavy that if you just got really bad rolls throughout, you just uh, had a bad time. I hate to be sound like I'm just like shitting on the game. It's super cool theme, and the idea is super cool. I just think it's it needed some more time in the oven, and it's pulling itself in two directions. I think. Yeah, I I do like the concept of it of time stories. Yeah, maybe for the second edition in ten years, where they have ironed it out. And if they maybe have like a uh, a big box expansion that like you know maybe like if you can get like like they have five expansions now or five stories they have the asylum uh, the asylum occult thing which is, comes in the base game they have the zombie nineteen uh, nineties uh, zombie movie then they have uh, a, a, a literal D and D campaign prophecy of the dragon. Which I have not played, and then uh, then there's the behind the mask, which is ancient Egypt, which is uh, apparently okay. Uh, like theme wise, they're cool. I, I I bet the story the story writing's not great, but um, and then their fifth one that's coming out this month is um, care what it's called, but it's a it's about an expedi like one of those expeditions um, um, that went to the North Pole in the early 1900s and just like everyone just got everyone just vanished off the ship no bodies no 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 like no one knows what happens to them and that's that's the uh, history that's the most interesting one so far because it seems like one that's not just like uh, overdone thematically so if I was if I was gonna pick up any of them not knowing what the game looked like and played like that's the one I would pick up the one about the uh, uh, the ship but like i said if you can pick up the game for like 80 bucks with all at least the first five expansions that's something i would look at doing 
like like value wise because then you can resell that pretty easily because it's all encompassing but other than that it's just like it's too a la carte and a la carte seems and it's just like the the value propositions yeah all right i'm done talking now <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fun though just does sound a little expensive yeah, you. But yeah, four people that are really into it, and you've got a fun game. If one person's trying to hold on to like a third of the information, you're gonna fail the puzzles like utterly. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? Um, I didn't do a side action. I w I wanted to do this and then hit you for uh, five. That's what I thought. All good. Okay. Snake. Um, let's see. Wait, is it a humming? Is it the hummingbird? He's the worst. I really like that play. That opening play, though, she. That's really cool. Thank you. I'm surprised you didn't put down. Um... Oh, I guess that makes sense. Never mind. I kind of feel like I have to order it that way, if I'm going to run it. Oh shit, so you can, like, un you can transfer and then just, like, hypnotize in for another five, can't you? Hey. Yeah. Or he can, you know, play that, uh, that other side action that he has on the finch and get rid of those and still have an unexhausted finch. Yeah. Oh man, that is such a bonkers combo. I didn't even think about the, uh, I was like, man, that is such a corner case. When is that going to come into play? And then I'm like, oh, that's it. So it seems like you can play Leo like, like Mayoni with, like, but in instead of, like, removal, and buffing up your shit, you can... Remember to buff up your shit, you can just use a shit ton of alteration spells on the finch. That, kid, that card is yeah. bonkers. It's awful. It's awful and I hate it. <laughs> can't, can't wait for the alternate art, because all of his cards are beautiful. Sorry, what? No, I was just saying I screwed up. I should I, I dropped it right off the bat, but too late. Go ahead. I will attack Mayoni for six. I will remove root armor and attack Mayoni for four God damn six. It. <laughs> yeah, this oh, oh man. crap. Ah, fuck it. Let's <laughs> Would you like to flip the table? It's, yeah, it's, I mean, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. I'll remove and attack <laughs> Mayoni for two. What 
what is this insanity? Um, I'll go ahead and pass. I, I passed. Is this why Leo was in top? Was in the gen? No. So the funny thing that C didn't tell you earlier is that his uh, Leo deck was actually the one that won Gen Con, and it was completely different than no, this, no, and that's no, what I was no, expecting. No, no. No, oh, sorry, my, you're right. No. Sorry, you're second. You're, yeah. It was another Leo deck that was second. similar, very similar that took first. But that's the deck I was expecting, not at all this. Oh, so you were like, oh, he'll play a slow game, I'll get decked out, I'll have time to establish my board, and you're just like, nope, not today. Honestly, I hadn't even Take thought five. of that little dirty, 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 dirty combo. You should, you should you should call that deck Angry Birds. Oh my god. Actually, I call I it. I, call it, it. I call it racist Leo. What? <laughs> Dude, go on. So, uh, instead of the Glowfinch, it's actually a Growfinch. Oh. Racist Leo. <laughs> I don't get. I don't get it. You're, you're like oh, me. Can an accent pinch. Ah. Uh, um. Um. God damn it. You're not racist. Thank God. It's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just. I didn't. I just didn't immediately connect it to the. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Dishonor on the family. Exactly. All right. Oh, that is a. That is a nasty combo. Oh, wait, you got rid of that for... Oh, you're right, thanks. Okay, so... Well, the great um... thing is... Wait, wait, so here's a question. So, did you, uh, did you have what's gonna call it in your hand? Oh, wait, is it still game? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, never mind. I'll ask you afterwards. Yeah. And... I will... Uh, no side. Massive oh, growth. Oh, shit. No, yeah. Uh, Spellguard. Spellguard. Motherfucker. All right. Okay. <laughs> Racist Leo is terrifying when you don't think about it. <laughs> All right. So here's a question. Um, Spellguard on the, uh, on, on Spellguard, does that give the creature Spellguard? No, it's, no. um... No, it's... Yeah, it, spell no, guard no is remo for no removal. Spell guard is for the um, the spell itself, and then so dis no disalteration. Right, magic guard is for units. They have a gotcha, separate. Gotcha. Yeah, they have a separate spell. That makes total sense. And basically, this is the only. Well, it doesn't work, but this was would be the play. But obviously, it can't. So you could do this. If That's what I should have done. I did start it. I just really didn't oh, think I would need oh. it on the finish that early, but yeah, that was stupid. I was th I was thinking I would put it on the your first owl. Ah, okay. Thinking I was playing dandy. Or your what what did you call yours? Uh mine was Ode to Leo, but mine also has uh three three ceremonial. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. That's all right.